Okay, so let's see if you know enough algebra to solve this equation. So the equation is 4 times x plus 5 in parentheses is equal to 2 times 3x minus 7 in parentheses. Now we do have a multiple choice question here, and x is equal to one of these. So a is negative 2, b is 3, c is 5, and d is 17. Now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'm gonna solve this equation step by step. Now the great thing about this problem is that uh, even if you don't know how to solve this equation, you should still be able to get this question right. So I'll explain myself in just one second, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is D, X is equal to 17. All right, now, if you got this right, we definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you like, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, I don't really understand how to solve an algebra equation. Can you teach me? Well, I definitely can. So the first thing about this problem that we need to understand is that we are dealing with an equation. All right, so what does that mean in math? Well, it means that the left-hand side value is the same as the value on the right-hand side. So for example, three is equal to three. This is an equation because the left-hand side value is the same as the value on the right-hand side of the equation. So if you have three is equal to five, well, this is not an equation because the left-hand side does not equal the value on the right-hand side. Okay, so we're trying to solve this uh, equation. We're trying to find the solution to this equation. And in practical terms, that means we're trying to figure out what value x needs to be such that uh, when we plug in this value for x, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. Now, as I indicated in the beginning of this video, even if you don't know how to solve this equation, well, you can still figure out the right answer because one of these here is the correct solution. Now, we know that D is the right answer, but uh, let's just go ahead and suppose that uh, we thought that B, 3, was the right answer. So if x is equal to 3, if that's the solution to this equation, we would go ahead and plug in for these x's right here, 3, and then do all the number crunching to see if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And when you do this right, you'll see that that will not work. Okay, so let's go ahead and verify that, in fact, d uh, or x is equal to 17 is indeed the correct solution. Okay, so here is our equation, 4x plus 5 is equal to 2 times 3x minus 7. So we're going to replace uh, these x's here with 17. All right, now let's go ahead and do the number crunching, and we're going to see that this is going to work out. All right, so 17 plus 5, remember we have to use the order of operations. We have to uh, start within the parentheses first. So 17 plus 5 is 22. 4 times 22 is 88. Over here we have 3 times 17, that's 51. 51 minus 7 is 44 and two times 44 is 88. Okay, so you can see here that the left-hand side value is equal to the value on the right-hand side. And the reason that worked out is because uh, we use 17 as a replacement for X. So X is equal to 17 is the solution. All right, now, if we didn't have a multiple choice question, well, we're simply gonna have to know the algebra to solve this equation. Okay, so here is our problem, four times x plus five is equal to two times three x minus seven. Now, before I solve this equation, I'm basically gonna tell you the steps that I'm going to take. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is use the distributive property. You'll see uh, that in just one second. Then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get all the variable terms on the left-hand side of the equations, on uh, the left-hand side of the equation, excuse me. Then the third thing I'm going to do is get all my numbers on the right-hand side of the equation. And then finally, I'm going to solve this last remaining one-step equation. All right, so this type of equation in algebra is what we would call a multi-step linear equation, but it's not going to be that difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and start now. So the first thing, first thing I'm going to do is use the distributive property. So anytime we have a number or variable, outside of a sum or difference in parentheses like we have right here, we need to use the distributive property to simplify. Okay, so how does this work? Well, we're going to take this four and multiply by uh, this x, so that's four x, and then four times five is 20. 
So we're taking this number or variable and we're distributing uh, it to the inside terms. All right, so let's do the same thing over here. So we have two times three X, that's six X, and then two times this uh, negative seven is negative 14. All right, so the next step now is to move this variable term over to the left-hand side. Okay, so we're just taking this one step at a time. So we have 4x plus 20 is equal to 6x minus 14. Again, what we want to do is get all of our variables on the left-hand side and all of our numbers on the right-hand side, but we're just going to take one step at a time uh, to get this done. All right, so how do I move this 6x to the other side? Now, the first thing that we need to notice is that uh, 6x and 4x are like terms. So in other words, we can add them, but I got to move this 6x from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, or I have to get rid of it on this side and put it on this side of the equation. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, just follow the golden rule of algebra, and that is you can pretty much do whatever you want to an equation as long as you do it equally to both sides. So the way we're going to get rid of this 6x on the right-hand side is to subtract a 6x away from it. But if we're going to do that on the right-hand side, we also have to do this on the left-hand side. Okay, so we have 4x plus 20 is equal to 6x minus 14. Now we're going to subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. Now notice the format that I'm kind of writing this in. It's just going to make the work a lot easier. Now we're going to add down in a column manner. Okay, so 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. 20 plus nothing is 20. 6x minus 6x is 0. We don't need to write that. And then negative 14 plus 0 is negative 14. Okay, so now the equation is negative 2x plus 20 is equal to negative 14. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, Check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we moved all of our uh, variable terms to the left-hand side of the equation, what we want to do now is move all of our numbers to the right-hand side of the equation. So that means we need to take this uh, 20 here and move it to the other side. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use the same idea with uh, moving the variable terms. So we have a positive 20 here, so I want to get rid of that positive 20, so I'm going to subtract 20 away on the left-hand side, but I also need to subtract 20 away on the right-hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and add down in a column manner. So negative 2x plus 0 is negative 2x. 20 minus 20 is 0. Negative 14 plus a negative 20 is negative 34. All right, so now we're down to a basic one-step linear equation. So to solve this equation, it's pretty basic. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. Okay, so negative 2x is equal to negative 34. We're going to divide both sides by negative 2. And then we're going to have negative 34 divided by negative 2, which, of course, is a positive 17. All right, so the solution to this equation is x is equal to a positive 17. Now, as I showed you in the beginning of this video, if you're like, I'm not sure I uh, solved this problem correctly, uh, you can always check your solutions in the original equation. Matter of fact, this is something you need to know how to do in algebra. It's called verifying your solution. All right, so hopefully uh, this was a nice basic review of basic algebra. But uh, if you need additional help with equations or basic algebra, let me go ahead and uh, give you some suggestions right here. So in the description, I'm going to leave the links to these courses. So the first is my pre-algebra course. Of course, uh, in pre-algebra, you're doing basic algebra. And you're not studying how to solve every uh, different type of equation. Now, in Algebra 1, that's my next course I'm going to leave, uh, you get into more sophisticated equations like quadratic equations. And then in Algebra 2, you learn how to solve even additional type of equations. 
But uh, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.